and we're here for birthday celebration. Welcome and many thanks for being here. For today's great adventure, we find ourselves at Legoland here in Winter Haven, Florida. And it's my man's eighth birthday and we're inviting you to come celebrate with us. And here's a view of the Legoland Hotel, which is adjacent to the entrance of Legoland. And we actually stayed there when Alex was probably around Cameron's age. And we are in, and check this out. Morning. Morning, how you doing? Right. And Legoland opened October 15th, 2011 on the former site of Cypress Gardens, which opened in 1936, making it one of Florida's oldest theme parks before it closed. And check this out. Why don't you jump in a circle? Woo! Yeah! Good jump! Jump out. Jump in. Yeah! Jump out! And Legoland actually consists of three theme parks and a hotel. And it's about 145 acres. And Cameron picked up a map. And the first spot is leading us, it's the Duplo Valley. And Legoland has 50 rides, attractions, and shows. And prices vary, it just depends. Um, you might get discounts and coupons. So just check online if you plan on coming here. And whether you're a fan or not of the Lego product or brand, it's endured the test of time. It's been around for a very long time and it's, it's pretty much going strong still. Look at this one. A little Jurassic World action here. And I gotta say, these Lego builders, they do a spectacular job. I mean, some of these Legos take hours, days, weeks to build, and, and they just come out so, so nice. A lot of credit to them. Shout out to the Lego builders here. And the boys went into the Masters of Flight. This one is totally different. As you can see, it has three levels, which is one more. And hopefully I can convince Cameron to ride that the Dragon Coaster there. All right, heading on into Lego Kingdom. All right, it's gonna be the boys, the two older ones, no Cameron. And we're up. And there's the final product. And no, we're not punishing Cameron for not riding the dragon. <laughs> Happy birthday, man. All right, heading to the land of adventure. And one of my favorite rides, if not my favorite ride here at Legoland. And this ride's a must here. It's, again, probably my favorite ride here. Lost Kingdom Adventure. All right, looks like Michael won the competition with 11,000. I got 9,000. All this for Cameron. I'm not a huge fan of roller coasters, but when it comes to wooden ones, the nostalgia purpose, gotta get on this. And it's called the Coastosaurus. We're up. And fun fact, this is one of four original rides left over from Cypress Gardens. It was called the Triple Hurricane. Wait to see how impressive these Legos are. Hold on a second. Amazing, right? All right, Kai's gonna teach Alex some moves. Here we go. Oh, man, look at that. And the boys are riding a simulated Ninjago ride. I don't, I don't do simulated ride. And there goes Kai behind us. On to Brick City. Hey dad, you got room for one more child? And in my former career, I used to run an academy. It may not have been a Coast Guard Academy, but academy nonetheless. Reporting for duty, sir. We got Captain Cameron and his first mate Rody here. I like the Ghostbusters, doesn't it? I used to work with firefighters in the academy, and there's two things I like about them. One is their bravery, and two is they have a great sense of humor, usually. And fun fact, Michael, Alex, and Cameron all got their first license here at Legoland Driving School. And unfortunately, some of the Florida drivers as well, on the road, you see. And if you've driven in Florida before, 
you probably know what I'm talking about. Here comes one of my skilled drivers. Happy birthday, Cameron. Thank you. And like I said, Legoland has three parks. This is the other one. This is the Legoland Water Park, and it's also Happy to Pick Park. And a couple quick observations. One, the park is cashless. They don't take cash here, like a lot of places are going that way. And also, I know it's only April, but it's it's fairly empty here. The, the rides are no longer 10, 15 minute waits on all the rides. And I don't know how new this is, but this is Legoland Ferrari. driving a Ferrari on his birthday. The Ferrari build and race was really neat. You got to build Ferraris out of Legos, obviously, and then race it, there's virtual racing, and you saw cameras sitting in the Ferrari made of Legos. So yeah, really good for kids in there. We do have a map, but there are maps all over the park in case you get lost. And being a big history buff that I am, I appreciate the fact that Legoland has paid homage to Cypress Gardens leaving that sign up there. Here's some more Cypress Gardens history. There's the grandstand and they would do all kinds of ski events here and water sport events on this beautiful lake here. All kinds of shows, really neat. I'm glad it's here too. I think they do something similar. It says like the Legoland Pirates Cove there. So I don't know if they do anything similar or not, but I like seeing this. And take a look at this. This must've took a long time to build. This is New York City right here. And here we are in DC now. You got the Capitol building here. And behind it is the Washington Monument. And behind that, is the Lincoln Memorial. And one of my favorite cities I've ever visited, San Francisco. You got the Coit Tower behind me. And there's the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. And here, you got the Vehicle Assembly Building or NASA here, the Kennedy Space Center, and it's Rocket Garden. It's an exact replica. And one thing that I sorely miss here living in Florida is the shuttle launches. That stopped about 12 or 13 years ago. Fun fact though, the rocket in the center is not a rocket, so it holds a fuel there. It used to be painted white in the early 80s. They stopped doing it because they found out the shuttle was lighter by not painting it. So therefore, they kept its original color of like a brownish red. And right there in the center is the White House, right behind the Washington Monument. Another fun fact, the Washington Monument at one time in history was the tallest structure built, only to be beaten by the Eiffel Tower in 1889. And one of the last lands or zones here is Heart Lake City. It's more about horticulture and flowers and plants and stuff. And I know I got the first lady roadie here and she loves that stuff. But today is Cameron's day. And another original ride here, left over from Cypress Gardens, is the carousel, which happens to be right next to Heart Lake City. And I found it. One employee said to be here in the coffee shop in the front. This is the original car from the wooden roller coaster, the Triple Hurricane. And check out that photo op. Hey man. Why such a long face? We're at Lego Lane. You should be happy. And here's Chewy and Ray. Chewy, don't just stand there. Fix the hyperdrive. And Cameron finished up by a little, doing a little bit of shopping. Thanks for joining us on such a special occasion. Please like and subscribe. Take care. Until next time. Bye from Legoland. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please consider becoming a channel member. If you already are one, thanks for the support. Let's grow this thing together.